Hi friends, today's video will teach you how you can boost CPU or you can increase the processor speed so that you can optimize your CPU for a gaming purpose. So watch this video uh, so that you can, uh, this will help you let uh, uh, boost your CPU speed without overclocking. So for that uh, you have to do some changes in the settings in the control panel. So I'll, I'll show you how you can do that. Just uh, go through the process and uh, try it from your end. Uh, this process will uh, restrain you from getting uh, the gaming setup worth uh, uh, thousands of uh, dollars. So watch this and try from your end. I'll show you the current uh, uh, clocking speed, the CPU speed. I'm just going to, I'm just taking the uh, taskbar. So if I click on uh, performance, you can see that the current uh, CPU speed is 2.83 GHz. And uh, the speed utilization is 78%. I just go and run open uh, power cfg dot cpl it's a control panel item so I'm just opening that so I don't have a high performance power plan right now so I'm going to create a plan so just click on create a power plan from here I'm just setting it as high performance and I'm clicking on create right now you can see that I have a high performance uh, power plan I have created now I'm going to the settings Just click on advanced power settings from here if you have uh, intel graphics settings then you have to make uh, the settings to the maximum power management if not you can skip that and go to the pc express now click on link state power management from here click on maximum power settings and turn it off both then click on apply now click on OK and then go to the search and type msconfig 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 and click on that open msconfig now from here go to boot and click on advanced option from here select the number of processor and click down and change it to 4 now after that click on ok now click apply now click on ok right now you can just exit without a uh, restart Uh, just next step is go to the search and type performance manager uh, sorry but performance monitor just click on that uh, from the just click on the user defined now right click on that and create new uh, data collector set I'm naming, naming it as CPU boosting and I'm selecting create manually advanced next and select performance counter then go to next
and click on add from here click on uh, processor now then, then select here you are adding all the processor speeds then click on add now from here go and search process Just select this from here go and search for thread count then click on add now then click ok then click on finish once that is over then you have to move to the next section like optimizing your uh, PC or laptop for that I have uh, the files in a folder I'll share I have already shared this in the description you can download it from uh, the download link which I have provided in the video description so I have opened it you can see that there are a couple of files in this this particular files is used for optimizing your system for uh, the gaming purpose so it is you have to run that and click on yes so now it has been uh, added successfully to your registry now click on the second one then add that to the registry click on ok the same with the third one click on ok once all this has been added just run this quick setup click on that this is a quick CPU setup wizards and click on next accept the terms and conditions click on next then click install then click finish I can see that the quick CPU is getting loaded just wait for that Now, now I am connected to the uh, AC since it is showing plugged in AC or if you want you can change it to on battery mode. So I am putting it in the uh, plugged in AC. Now you can see that the turbo boost index is 60% you can make it to 100% and the frequency scaling index to 100% apply. You can close down uh, this window. Now you have to turn on the storage scene. For that you have to go to the settings. From here go to the uh, storage. From here just go down. The storage sends automatically free up space, delete temporary files and manage local available cloud content. So that is helpful for the gaming purpose and you have to enable it. Now click on apps, go to the startup. If anything which you do, do not require in the startup, you can just disable it from here, the startup apps. So just close down this window. Now everything done, now you can restart your system. I'm